Good morning, Americans and humans. This is your favorite alien here on the morning of Monday, May 1st, 2023. Sitting in for Paul Harvey this morning. Stand by for the rest of the story. Well, today's story is on Drew Effect. An American case of extremism. And when Mr. Harvey did this story back in the mid-1970s, and here it is 50 years or so later, the new Americans haven't changed a bit from the 70s or the 40s and 30s and are still as extremist and as lousy as you ever are. You didn't listen a bit to what Mr. Harvey was saying here. So hopefully you can listen to me and don't throw this into the file 13 and say, we got to do something or we're going to be in trouble. Because it ended up getting you in trouble. You didn't heed Dr. Drew, so you were in trouble. And I'll see... You can look at Dr. I mean, uh, Mr. Harvey's story back in the mid-1970s. Dr. Drew was a renowned entomologist or entheologist, study of blood. And he was researching how to make blood better. Because at the time in the 1930s, people were dying left and right for lack of blood. And the Red Cross, which is a disaster of his own, at least the American Red Cross, along with the United States military and the government, are both disastrous. And they proved it back then, and they're proving it today. Okay? Uh, all three of them. But back then, Mr. Drew was doing all kinds of uh, uh, investigations and experiments on how to make blood safer. And he came up with one of the ingredients of blood, plasma, can survive longer outside the body, can be administered faster than regular blood and save a person's life faster till he can regenerate his own blood. In some cases, blood transfusions are required. But in some cases, like if you have extreme surgery that you need, and like in the war, you need plasma. You can't substitute blood for plasma on that one. That one, you need it. And Mr. Drew spent years modifying plasma on how to get it right. He wasn't 100%, but he had it where it was workable. And he kept on increasing it. Then in 1941, Mr. Harvey doesn't say what month in 1941, but the way he was talking, I'm assuming it had to be June. Because of the uh, German invasion of Soviet Union. Because the government, the military, and the Red Cross, the American, both came to the same conclusion. We have to do something here. We're looking at a war staring at right on our face and we're not prepared for it. Oh boy. We don't have enough blood according to the American Red Cross at the time. So they went to Dr. Drew and asked him if he would head the council, a special council to make everything available at a faster rate just in case of a war. Okay, and he did. He went over there, left his teaching job, took the job over there, uh, left what he was doing on his research, and put his whole heart to this thing. Let's get this going here. No sooner had he started that the extremists started on him. Uh... And the extremists can be both uh, other names, but they're still extremists no matter how you look at them. 
And you'll see what I mean when I start saying this. The extremists started saying, we don't want any Catholic blood. We don't want any of this other blood. We don't want any Asian blood. We definitely don't want any black blood. And Mr. Drew, or Dr. Drew, he kept on saying, well, people, blood is blood. You're all human. It's the same blood no matter who it comes from. Well, the government, Red Cross, and the, especially the military. The United States military told them, quote, you must segregate Caucasian blood. You must segregate Caucasian blood. Really, Americans? How extremist can you get? And he kept on saying, no, 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 we have to do it this other way. They did everything possible to destroy him. And at the end, in December 1941, December 1st, 1941, he quit. And I don't blame him for it. He went back to his school, back to teaching. Did he ever resume his research and improve plasma? No. And he, after a certain number of months and war had started, he just couldn't take it anymore. He quit his job at the university and, well... He died in a car crash at age 45. Shortly after that, what a shame. And what a shame and degradation to the American Red Cross, the United States military, and the United States government. And the United States military would not allow anything but Caucasian blood to be used on Caucasian patients. Plasma was not allowed because it was, quote, dangerous. Dr. Drew had had no kinds of notes on that. And those notes were left standing. Nobody picked those notes up from Howard University to the late 1990s. Okay? Howard University people. The doctor, Charles Richard Drew, renowned for his work in plasma, was a black man. You see what I mean? Also, plasma was not used in World War II, and 460,000 Americans passed away because of your extremist views. How many of those could have been saved? 38,000, the same way in Korea. And you say, oh yeah, but we lost 58,000 in Vietnam. You would have lost more if those crazy guys in the mass units didn't start using plasma and requesting plasma. Those doctors in those mass units in the 1960s in Vietnam, they're the ones that should be put on notice as saying, we saw better. See what I mean, Americans? Your extremism lives alive and well, and it's alive and well today in the 21st century. You haven't changed a bit. You're still as stupid as you were in the 1930s and 40s. When you said, segregate Caucasian blood and... No Catholic blood allowed, no Asian blood, and no black blood. Uh, really? Oh. And take heed that Dr. Charles Richard Drew also said, blood is safe, but it has impurities. Please, you must continue the research 
to make sure that when you give blood, it's pure because we don't want to give blood with individual traits that could invade another person. Hence, 1980s AIDS. Do you understand, Americans? Your extremism and your stupid way of thinking has cost you lives all the way down the decades. Sitting in for Par Harvey, trying to tell you the story he tried to tell you in the mid-1970s about poor Dr. Charles Richard Drew, and you guys don't listen then, and you guys will throw this in the file 13. Good day.